Thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the Scottish Government what discussions it has had with the Fire Brigades Union on its plans to remove the bottom of classroom doors. Cabinet Secretary Shirley Ann Somerville. The Scottish Government meets regularly with the Fire Brigades Union and will continue to have con constructive dialogue on any matter of concern. However, as the Member will be aware, the Scottish Government has no such plans. Contributions in this chamber last week were based on a willful misunderstanding of examples of mitigations that local authorities may implement under certain circumstances to improve ventilation in problematic spaces in schools. These examples, which included uses of air cleaning devices, installation of small mechanical vents and adjustment of doors, were used as a means to generate the overall costs of the up to £5 million top-up fund made available to local authorities to improve ventilation in schools. This was set out in the letter to the Education, Children and Young People's Committee, which stated the precise remedial measures used in each problematic space should be informed of local circumstances and expert assessment by local authority teams. Our guidance on reducing risks in schools supports expert local authority teams and makes clear that local authorities must consider legal health and safety obligations, including fire safety. Officials have spoken with the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service regarding this matter. The Scottish Fire and Rescue Service have confirmed that they understand the Scottish Government's approach in seeking to improve ventilation in schools in line with usual practice. They are happy to provide advice and support to local authorities regarding any changes to structures which may have an impact on fire risk assessments. Tess White. Cabinet Secretary, a willful misunderstanding? In recent days, we've had two significant interventions on these plans or misunderstandings. The Scottish Fire and Rescue Service said it would strongly advise those responsible to contact its fire safety enforcement teams before implementing these changes or talking about these misunderstandings, I say. As such, can the Cabinet Secretary say if these proposals are definitely misunderstandings? Cabinet Secretary. Well, I, the absolute interpretation that has been given by opposition parties is an absolute deliberate misunderstanding of events. I have already read out uh, what the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service um, have said, and I absolutely would concur with them, um, as with all aspects around fire and safety, that those discussions should continue at a very local um, level and with the specific examples. But the absolute um, truth of this matter is that these are misleading reports that have been given because when the COVID-19 ventilation short life working group were asked to look at the media reporting following on from this misinterpretation in the chamber, they have confirmed that adjusting the undercut of a non-fire door can be necessary if, for example, the installation of a small mechanical vent system changes the air pressure in the room, making a door difficult to open, which could in itself present a hazard. That is exactly why this specific measure was included as an element of the example scenario. <coughs> Ventilation must be viewed systematically, and introducing changes such as mechanical ven ventilation can have knock-on impacts on other aspects of ventilation and of health and safety. That is exactly why the examples were given as they were as a specific scenario. Tess White. Thank you, Presiding Officer. Deliberate misunderstandings, the Cabinet Secretary says. Parents the length and breadth of Scotland are looking at these plans, or as you say, misunderstandings, with consternation and concern. Even securely closed non-fire doors can help slow the spread of fire and smoke inhalation. It's common sense. The Scottish Government has had two years to sort out these misunderstandings, as you say, yet you're still coming forward with proposals that should have been considered in 2020, not 2022. So does this Cabinet Secretary confirm that spending £300,000 on chopping off the bottom of doors is not going to happen? Cabinet Secretary. Well, again, if we can perhaps get into the absolute specifics of scenarios when these things would happen. So the example scenario that did have three elements was a use of an air cleaning device as a temporary mitigation, the installation of a small mechanical vent and the adjustment of the door to undercut to improve uh, airflow. The latter element is absolutely required to be included because, as I have already read out, 
The installation of a mechanical ventilation can change the air pressure in a room, leading to the door being harder to open and potentially itself a health and safety issue. So, with the greatest respect to the member, who I am afraid has joined her colleagues in the Scottish Conservatives by adding to the deliberate misunderstanding of this, we will continue to listen to the experts on this, on health and safety, local authorities who are responsible for making any changes specific to the requirement of each room will of course continue to have those same discussions but at a very local level specific to any examples and that's exactly what I think parents, young people and indeed teachers would expect.